add up to one thing, death. But now we've learned one of the ingredients in that drug cocktail is still legal throughout most of the U.S. We first told you about gray death last week. It is a combination of three drugs, one of them nearly 10 times more potent than heroin. Now, the drug originally created as a legal drug back in the 1970s is now more potent than morphine, but supposedly it was less addictive. Paul Mueller joining us now, and uh, how are users getting their hands on this? We've talked a little bit about this gray death, but it's the ingredient. Talked a lot about it, and you know, that's a great question. It's illegal here in Florida, as well as four other states, but you can still get a prescription for it legally in every other state. It's a designer drug, like bath salts and ecstasy being shipped into the U.S., mainly from China. Losing a child is the hardest, most painful thing a mother can go through. And this mother knows that pain all too well. Mary Lenz of Newport Ritchie lost her daughter to a drug chemist called U47700. On the street, it's called pink, and it's eight times stronger than heroin. She wasn't an addict, you say? No, not an addict at all. She was a legitimate pain patient. She had kidney disease. Eventually, her 29-year-old daughter, Stephanie, couldn't get any more pain prescriptions. And she was desperate for pain relief. So Stephanie searched the Internet. Two orders later, last Thanksgiving Day, Stephanie would die of an overdose. And I had actually just received the autopsy report a few days before News Channel 8's report on the gray death. Pink is one of three major components of what's called gray death, the heroin-based drug that looks like concrete and mixes multiple opioids. So far, only four states have made pink illegal. Still, that doesn't stop people from legally ordering it online. Websites sell it for as little as five bucks. According to the DEA, at least 15 people have died from it. In September, it was classified as a controlled substance. Right after that, four states, including Florida, outlawed the drug. I have to tell my daughter's story because if I can save one child's life, one mother's grief, everybody out there, don't touch it. It is bad news. The DEA now has a ban on pink or U47700. That ban allows them three years to do research. Figure out what will happen next. In the meantime, though, sadly here, Keith Stacy, the death toll, as you just saw, it just continues to rise. Mm, so sad. It All is. Right. Thank you. Thanks.